take a blanket and put it on your sticky mat, all right? And we're going to do Marchyasana 1, okay? Put it near the front of your mat so your feet can kind of slide on the floor. Bend your right knee. Bring your heel in close to your buttocks and lift up, okay? Now, we're gonna be reaching your arm forward, but let's do this first. Let's just lean over to the left side. And you might feel your right buttock come up, let it come up, your right heel might come up, but lean over so you feel the weight of your body moving towards the left. Take your hands down and then turn your abdomen from the right to the left. Okay, so you're leaning away from that right side to extend and create some space on the right side of your body. All right, now start to crawl forward over your straight leg and that heel will start to come down at some point and bring your right upper arm in front of your right shin and press the hand back against the shin. Press the arm back against the shin. You can take your other hand to the side. All right, good. Okay, now reach your right arm, let go of that, reach your right arm forward again. So way forward so you feel your side body lengthening from your groins, kind of like Utkatasana. In fact, saw a little bit. Saw. Saw. That's it. Reach forward from the outer hip and groin. That's it. Now stay forward. Take your left hand over to the right shin and hug it in. And then drop your right armpit down. So see if you can get a little closer between your side body. Remember Adho Mukha Virasana? the relationship of the side body and the inner thigh, right? Now press your right arm back so it's like a locker. It's pressing into the shin. Do you feel that when you press your arm back against your leg, that it goes, um, when you press your arm back against your leg, that's the idea, and then you try to sneak it back, that there's this contact point, right? Press the arm back against the leg. Okay, now keep that and press your shin back forward into your arm. Yes. Yes, it's a subtle thing, but do you feel that opposing action? Okay, when you press your arm back against your leg, it secures your arm, right? Now when you press your top of your shin where it's connecting to your arm forward, what happens? You have to keep your arm pressing back. Do you feel yourself go a little bit forward when you do that? Press your shin forward into your arm, into your arm, into your arm, while your arm presses back. Okay, now come up. That's an action that we do in Bakasana. So let's try, try our other side. Okay, and then lean away from your leg, turn your belly, relax your lower abdomen, relax your side ribs, and let your buttocks lift, because they'll have to lift soon anyway. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> turn your abdomen from the left to the right. That's it. And then when you come forward, keep, as you start to lean forward and you're coming around that outside of the straight leg, your buttock is maybe still be up, right? That left buttock a little bit. But then as you start to come back, you feel, oh, it starts to come down, right? See if you can keep that armpit coming forward and then reach. You can use your other hand like we did that second repetition because the shin will want to fall out. So press the, bring the shin in with your arm and press your arm back against your shin. Okay? So that you're getting close in there. All right? Now let's try like we did on the first side, just reach your arm forward for a moment. And when your knee, let your knee go to the side. Let your knee go to the side so that your side body can come forward. Now when your knee goes to the side, okay, and your side body comes forward, where does the weight go on your left foot? You guys tell me. Where do you feel the weight on your left foot? Outside. Outside. That's what's happening, right? So now if we're going to wrap our, sh our arm or press it into the leg, so keep reaching forward, take your right hand around and hug that left shin in. Now where does the weight go on your foot? Inside. Inside, good. So now drop the arm down, that's the idea. So you know how to wrap, but let's not wrap, let's just press our hand down. But it's the same principle. So there's something about the turn of the arm where it gets a little disconnected. It's, okay. it's the hip. Okay, all right, so you're gonna be light with that. Okay, don't want you to push through that, all right. So press your arm back against your leg and then, this is a subtle action, but see if you can listen 
through the palms of your hands, through the soles of your feet, and to the sense of direction of your torso when you press your left knee forward into your arm. Do you feel how there's a movement, a slight movement forward, right? Good. Okay, now release that. Now, Dina, what you're going to do is you're going to repeat while they go to Bakasana. You're going to go through this same process and go ahead and bind your arms and use a belt if you need to. The rest of us are going to try now. We're going to, this first time, we're going to just really go for it and then we'll make it easier. We're going to make our height under our heels, we're going to raise it up a little bit. Okay, so you're going to try fold your blanket like this. Same idea, okay, so if you watch when uh, I'm in a malasana, okay, and because I'm going to be going forward, I'm raising my heels up a little bit so that I'm not sitting back too far towards my buttocks. But I have to get this, this leg and this arm. My intention is to get the side body close into the leg and as much of the armpit in front of the shin as possible. So I do move my leg to the side as I reach my arm forward. Can you guys see how there's more space there, okay? And then I lock the arm back against the leg. Now it's harder when you go to the second side because it just is, so we'll make sure we switch sides. But then I have, try to get my hands as close to my feet as possible, and then I start to raise my heels up, okay? Do you see what's happening to my toes? What does that remind you of that we just did today? Yes, Adamukha Vrikshasana. So I roll to the tips of my toes, so the sense of direction is I'm coming forward. Once those feet come up, I feel the weight on my arms, my response is to press my hands down, to lift and spread the back ribs, and to begin the process of stretching your arms. And you don't have to completely straighten your arms today, okay? But, <laughs> or you might not even get up, but the idea is to begin to feel that weight shift, okay, and roll to the tip so it's the shift that becomes the lift, but I have to shift my weight. I have to move my pelvis over in the direction of my arms, okay? So let's try it once like this from this deep malasan position, and then we'll make it easier, okay? Bend your knees, okay, bend your knees, squat down. Let your knees separate, let your knees separate, and bring your torso forward. Just like you did in Marichyasana 1. Okay, bring your torso forward like you did in Marichyasana 1. So when your knees go to the side, let them roll further to the side. Do you feel how there's more weight coming to your outer foot? Right? But you can go forward more, can't you? Let those knees go further to the side, Edwin, so you can come forward. Yes. All right. Now, start to press. Slowly bring your inner foot down, rolling the skin from a little toe side to the big toe side like you did before. Now let's take our left hand, everybody raise your head. Take your left arm over to your right shin, okay, because it wants to go to the side, so you're going to use the hand as a helper. As you hug the shin in, reach that left elbow, or right elbow, down and press it back and lock that arm against the leg. So you feel that there's a locker there, right? Okay, so now let's release that. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So release that arm. And then reach, take your right hand to, that, to the left shin, reach the elbow down and forward as you hug the shin in, and then lock the arm back against the shin. Okay, now do your other leg, do your other arm. That's it. Press your hands back. They can be a little bit wide when you're beginning. All right, now raise your heels up. Ra yes, raise your heels up. Not your buttocks too much, but raise the heels up and start to shift forward. Start to shift forward, so roll towards the tips of the toes, start to shift forward, that's the idea, that's the idea, and then maybe it's both feet, that's it, when they come up, and then you lift and spread your back ribs as you straighten your arms, maybe it's one foot at a time, there you go. Okay, now try lowering your buttocks and lifting and spreading your back ribs, you guys shift back and come down. Okay, let's try it again, okay, this time. I have a question. Yes. I wasn't sure where to put my hand. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on what, um, it depends on a lot of factors. So eventually the hands move closer together. But when we're learning things in the beginning, in Iyengar yoga, often we decentralize, okay? Because it helps lessen fear. A broader base gives more confidence, it's more stable. And it's gonna help your arms lock against your shin. If the arms are too narrow, you know, fear makes us shrink 
it can make it shrink. So if my hands are here, do you see how that's going to be really hard for me to do bakasana if my hands are like this? It's like Urdhva Dhanurasana, and people put their hands like that. And you just know there's just no way they're going to get up. So in the beginning, we take our arms a little wider. And then we can gradually bring them in. But yes, the hands come in, but more than that, it's the outer elbow area that's coming in, OK? That region. So now Edwin and um, so we're going to uh, the three of you that got up, you're going to refine that a little bit. And we're going to get up, and we're going to have a slightly different tactic for you. OK, so um, the shin pressing into the arm. All right, so do you remember the Marichyasana one action with the shin pressing onto the arm? You can say yes or no, OK? <laughs> if you don't remember, that's OK. OK, good. So now I come forward, OK? So let's say I'm here. I've shifted my weight, and then I start to lift up. Now, watch my right shin near the knee. This is subtle, but let's see if I can make it clear. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm pressing the shin down onto the arm as I'm stretching the arms. And that brings a certain lift, internal lift of the body. It's the same action of Marichi 1. Arm back, leg into the arm. OK? You're going to try that. You're going to try that. You're going to try that. And what we're going to do is we're going to try this method where we come from Uttanasana and we raise our knee, heels up and we place our arms on our legs. And then we take one foot up and then, if possible, take the other foot up. OK? If you have one foot coming up, even though I'm having her come up one foot at a time, because that's how she's going up to full arm balance, you are going to try to bring those feet up at the same time. OK? You took one foot up at a time last time, you're going to try to take them both up at the same time, OK? And you two try to listen if one foot's going faster than the other. The inner, stronger inner thigh will be that one, OK? So let's try, OK? So one more bakasana. This is your last one. Now Dina Supta Padangustasana 2, OK? With support and a strap. So you guys bend forward down to Malasana. You're going to go in the same way that you did before. So see if you can reach forward and get those arms locked back against the shin. Now you're going to separate your feet, raise your knees up, raise your heels up. That's it. Place your legs on your arms. No, keep those. That's it. And then see if you can press the knee into the arm. So you guys are doing on your own, OK? You're repeating what we did, and you have your mission. One foot, yes, that's it. So here we go. Let's try that again. One foot, press that knee on the, yes, and there she goes. Good, OK. Ah, now Susanna, bring those feet together. Press back through your inner foot. And now lift and spread these ribs, buttocks down, these ribs up. Try to lift and spread the wings of your back ribs. That's it, dome here. Lift. Yes, even more. Yes, yes. OK, good. Now, Edwin, you stay. The rest of you come down. He's tray, tray strong. This is excellent. Come down. Look at, you. Look at Edwin's feet. Many of us were doing this. OK, so let's go back to the first action. I know it's hot. Yes. And now, yes. Even more. Yes. Outer ankles in. Good, Ed. Yes. E yes, even more. Sharpen those feet. Yes. <laughs> Did you guys see the difference? Yes. That's, and we shrink with fear our little bird feet will contract with fear. And so in this circumstance <laughs> where we're on our arms, and we may be really thinking about our arms, but if our feet can do that action, then the inner legs just squeeze into the arms. The arms don't have to work as hard because the whole body, you're marshalling your legs to help you lift. And the feet are incredibly important. It's like the standing pose feet. We think it's an arm balance, and we don't realize how much our feet are actually doing. So you did a good job with that. Did you see the change in his feet? OK. We're going to be reaching our arm forward, but let's do this first. Let's just lean over to the left side. And you might feel your right buttock come up, let it come up. Your right heel might come up. But lean over so you feel the weight of your body moving towards the left. Take your hands down and then turn your abdomen from the right to the left. Start to crawl forward over your straight leg. And that heel will start to come down at some point. And bring your right upper arm in front of your right shin. And press the hand 
back against the shin. Press the arm back against the shin. You can take your other hand to the side. I have to get this, this leg and this arm. My intention is to get the side body close into the leg and as much of the armpit in front of the shin as possible. So I roll to the tips of my toes, so the sense of direction is I'm coming forward. Once those feet come up, and I feel the weight on my arms, my response is to press my hands down, to lift and spread the back ribs, and to begin the process of stretching your arms. Now, watch my right shin near the knee. This is subtle, but let's see if I can make it clear. Do you guys see what I'm doing? 